It's a problem most men and women really don't want to talk about, but the numbers are staggering. Around 40 million women suffer from hair loss. The good news is, for many, hair regrowth is possible. Natasha Williams talked with the one of, uh, the one of, one of only licensed hair loss experts here in the state. Natasha. Well, Deb, unfortunately for many of the women in our area, that specialist is right here in Dayton. And when we paid her a visit at her hair loss clinic on Far Hills, we found several women who wanted to talk about their struggle with hair loss, but all were too embarrassed to show their faces. Probably in about 2007, um, as I started going through my divorce. The young woman we'll call Kara says the stress of ending her marriage was the trigger. That's when I noticed like my eyebrows began to thin out and then I just started losing the hair around the side of my head. Kara says at first there was panic, then denial. I was raised on, you know, a woman's beauty is in her hair. To have to deal with hair loss to me is very uncomfortable. I don't like the idea of having to wear a wig. For Amber, a woman in her 50s, it was even more difficult. When she was in her 40s, her hair loss became so severe, she felt she had to hide it. It was like coming out in clumps. Yeah, I've been a stylist for 25 years. I've seen women sit in my chair every day. Um, I didn't know what was causing their hair loss or even how to reverse it. That is until the veteran hairstylist went back to school earning a couple new degrees, becoming certified in trichology, the study of hair and scalp disorders and diseases like alopecia, a fancy word for hair loss. Hair loss is an indication of what's going on inside the body and generally when you can find out what's going on, put all those pieces to the puzzle together. For Kara, her alopecia or hair loss seems directly connected to stress, but first she has to be analyzed. What I generally do is look at blood tests. Blood tests will tell a story as to what's going on internally. And Amber will be tested too. Around the hairline, they generally have hair around the hairline. So that's what told me that she was experiencing more than just a female pattern of hair loss because she actually has spots that are actually missing. Galette says there are several types of alopecia affecting up to 40 million women in the U.S. and triggers that lead to the hair loss vary from person to person. There can be uh, hair loss from medical related issues, hormones, diet, um, digestion issues. The good thing about it is anytime you see a hair follicle. And she says hair loss doesn't discriminate. Alopecia is the same whether you're race or gender. Um, it's an autoimmune deficiency. It will attack any hair follicle whether you're a kid, an adult, a man or a female, black or white. Now the good news is all three of the people who came for a consultation that day were told that they were good candidates for treatment for regrowth. Now, Galette is optimistic that they will all be able to reverse their hair loss.